Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to be doing a portfolio overview of my Fidelity account and showing all of the stocks in this account, how many shares I have, and the uh, cost basis. Uh, so I think I made a video three or four weeks ago and I've gone up by about $4,000. I don't actually remember the um, portfolio amount I was at uh, right at that time of that video. But here recently, I did recently uh, go over 50,000, which was a little bit, bit of a milestone. So really hoping to join the six-figure club here in uh, the next couple of years. So I'm going to scroll through all of my stocks, starting with the ones I have the most amount of money in. And I'm going to show the amount of shares I have, the current price, and then I'll scroll over and show my um, how much I have gained up on that stock, uh, which you'll see in just a second after I briefly go over each of these. First and foremost is Tesla with 32 shares. This is actually 50% of my portfolio. I have a ton of conviction in Tesla and I may even make this a bigger portion of my portfolio, which is probably pretty crazy for some of you to think about uh, just for everything that they're doing with um, increasing their production capacity the and uh, lowering their costs and opening new factories all over the world and their battery technology and AI and Dojo. And it's really almost investing in an ETF right within this stock as some other great YouTubers um, like to say, but there's tons of great researchers um, on YouTube that have done a ton of great videos on this stock. If you do want to go check it out to see why I am so bullish on this stock. My next top holding, which is only about 6 or so percent of my portfolio, is ARK Invest. This is an innovation ETF run by Kathy Wood, and it aims to double every, about every five years, which is a lot better than most other ETFs or mutual funds out there. And I really like some of their top holdings, um, and I'd highly recommend researching or looking into this one a little bit more if you are looking to uh, add some money to a... a um, high return ETF. Next up is Microsoft, and this is one of my few blue chip stocks along with Disney and Google. Um, Microsoft, I'm actually not investing in them for why you might think. I really love what they're doing with Xbox. Um, as compared to Sony, they're really acquiring some other big game developers, and I think having the backing of a massive company like Microsoft and allowing them to acquire other companies give the, gives them a big edge over Sony in the long term. And they're also doing really well with Game Pass on PC as well, which is going to be crucial um, for many years to come. And next up is Google. And again, I'm not investing in this one, why you might think. I actually love YouTube, and I wish I could just invest in YouTube directly. Uh, but I think YouTube is just going to continue to grow extremely rapidly, and it's going to continue to be a bigger portion of their business model. I don't actually know what the percentage is right now, but I think it's going to continue to um, be a bigger part of their business, especially as they continue to grow in third world countries. And then next up is Shopify. Um, this is kind of can be thought of as a much sm as investing in Amazon in their much smaller days. It's uh, Canada's biggest tech company. I could see this being a trillion dollar company in the next 10 years. And it's currently only at a um, about $120 billion market cap. It's been a little while since I've looked at that, but just a couple of shares there. And then you can see three more shares of Tesla. And that's actually because you're looking at two accounts I have in Fidelity right now. Um, the second account just has a couple of thousand dollars in it. So a couple of stocks will repeat in here. Um, but I guess you could say Tesla is even higher than 50% of my portfolio because of those three shares. Next up is Beyond Meat. I think the alternative meat market is going to continue to grow. Um, unfortunately, I don't think it's going to be rapid. I think it's going to be a slow trend over time, and Beyond Meat is kind of a way um, to invest in that uh, transition to alternative meats just because they are the biggest player right now. Um, their financials still aren't great. I don't think their product is 100% great yet. Um, they still need to get into some other meats, uh, but they have partnered with a lot of restaurants and they're kind of at the forefront of the overall transition. Next up is Take-Two Interactive. You've probably heard of all the previous companies, but probably not Take-Two Interactive. They're the uh, video game developer that makes games like Grand Theft Auto and Red Dead Redemption. And uh, they also make 2K games, which is an annual release, but I really invest in it for the other two. Uh, these games have very, only come out every five or six years, but they're massive when they do come out and always have record sales. And here's my um, total gain. Um, 
dollar wise and percentage wise uh, here i've got tesla up about 120 percent um, this would be much much higher if i didn't buy my last six shares or so but i really just keep adding to this position and i probably will until it reaches a one trillion dollar market cap or so and it's not that i think the company's going to stop growing at a trillion dollar market cap um, i think they will reach two or even three trillion dollars within the next five to ten years um, I think there may just be bigger opportunities for faster growth once they reach a trillion dollar market cap or so. And then not too much else to note here. I about a 53% gain on Google, which is really awesome for such a massive company. Um, I really wanted to buy them when they were uh, at about a thousand dollars and that was just over a year ago when the overall stock market was down and tech was getting hit really hard and then i ended up just biting the bullet and buying it at about 1500 and i'm really glad i did because it's all the way up above 2200 now um, and then i'm still down and beyond me really this is going to be a longer play i don't see a big gain here um, for the next three to five years uh, i think it's going to be a little bit steady until they can really become profitable and prove their product Next up is Carnival Cruise Lines. I bought into both Carnival and Royal Caribbean before um, COVID hits in March of 2020, and then I just kept adding them all the way down. Um, I really was buying it before I should have been, and then I just took advantage of the opportunity when the cruise lines went way, way down, and I think eventually the dividend will be returned, and I'll be really happy with these investments. Just got to hang on until then. Um, next up is MasterCard. I think MasterCard, Visa, and PayPal are really safe investments um, and really safe growth uh, slash tech and financial investments. Uh, next up is Square. They have Cash App and they allow you to buy um, a little bit of stocks with fractional shares on there. And I really like that they're kind of an all-in-one um, financial destination. And I think the Cash App is great and going to continue to grow. Uh, Boeing, I bought into this one not because I see uh, a ton of growth, like I try to gear towards my whole portfolio, but I think um, I got an average cost of about $100, so really couldn't resist buying into this $100, uh, buying it at $100 when it's really um, at a better value, or I believe the value is closer to two or three hundred dollars. So really, just got a good value opportunity there. Royal Caribbean kind of already talked about Disney. Um, I bought a few shares there when Disney Plus was coming out. I thought they would kind of take some more market share away from Netflix. They really haven't been coming out with uh, a ton of original content um, just for the app. But I think it's just going to continue to grow from here, and um, it's eventually going to make more than their other revenue streams. Next up is Salesforce. Now we're starting to get into much of the smaller positions um, with Disney, Salesforce, Coinbase, and I even have much smaller positions in here. Um, and these are kind of just companies that I'm interested in and want to continue to follow. Uh, but Salesforce, they're big data plays with small, medium, and massive businesses, and I think they're going to continue to grow over time. I could also see this being a trillion dollar company in 10 years. And then Coinbase, they just IPO'd last week. Um, it's kind of a way to hedge yourself against crypto or invest in crypto indirectly, even though I have a little bit of crypto. Uh, I really just prefer stocks, and I think this could do really, really well. And then here is how far up I am in these different stocks. Really happy, actually, that I'm up 44% in Carnival Cruise Lines. I uh, didn't realize I was up so much, and um, it was just because I was able to take advantage of how far these stocks had come down during the um, when everybody was freaking out about COVID for Carnival and Royal Caribbean and Boeing. And then Coinbase, it just IPO'd last week. I was able to pick up one share at $381, um, which is actually the price it opened up at. And then I bought the other share at about $342. And it sank down to about $320. And I think it's still sitting around there. So I um, lost a little bit of money there, but I'm sure it'll come back up. And it's really a way to invest indirectly in crypto. Even though I do have a little bit of crypto, I really like profess, um, investing in stocks better. Um, and this is kind of a way to do that. And more of the smaller positions, I have six, six shares of Lemonade. I'm actually way down in Lemonade. I um, started buying into that one too early when the stock price had come way, way up. And now the stock price is back down to $81. So it's gonna be, I'm gonna be holding this one a while before it comes back up um, well above 100 and I make money on it. Uber um, bought some shares around the IPO, added a little bit. Uh, don't think I'll ha hold these shares really long term, um, but I do like how they're expanding globally compared to Lyft that's really just focused here in the United States. Uh, Activision Blizzard, um, I invested in this one um, not only because I've played uh, their main yearly release of video game, which is Call of Duty, but 
they started moving to mobile um, with Call of Duty Mobile a couple of, year, of years ago, and I thought they could see, succeed in that space, and they've done really well so far. Uh, Lit is a lithium ETF, um, and I think there's going to be a huge uh, global shortage in lithium, and this is kind of a, a way to invest in that in the coming years. I think the lithium companies are going to do extremely well. Uh, CRISPR, this is kind of the leading genomics company, uh, DNA editing. Um, you couldn't just you could just invest in ArcG, um, but I think CRISPR is kind of leading in this industry, so I really wanted to just invest in them directly. Uh, AMD, I invested in this company around a year and a half ago. Probably don't plan to add this position and unless the stock price comes way down. And there's actually a big uh, shortage in AMD chips right now because they're in PCs and the, also the um, consoles, the new consoles, the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X and S. Um, so it's just a huge, huge demand for the product for years to come. And then just one share of PayPal here. I bought this stock really early on at the end of 2019, um, early on in my investing career at least. Um, and I, this isn't really a buy or a sell for me, just probably going to hold this for a while and then just seeing another share of Microsoft here because that's in my second account. Uh, now, just to go over my total percentage up, I'm down over 35% in Lemonade. As I said, I think I have an average cost of like $130. The stock had run up to $180, so I thought I was relatively safe investing at $130, but I was definitely wrong. The stock came all the way down to around $75 or so, and it's really all the high PE tech stocks are way down right now. Um, if they weren't, my portfolio would probably be in the low 50,000s, but instead it's at 47,000, as you saw at the beginning of the video, and it's really just because a lot of these tech stocks are getting beaten up right now. 90% um, up in Uber, which is really nice. I definitely didn't expect that when I was originally investing, um, but the stock has done really well. I don't know how well they're going to do long term, um, but as they're approaching profitability, and they have been for the last couple of years, the stock's going to do really well. Um, but yeah, again, not sure if I'm going to hold that one long term. And you can kind of just ignore the other ones on here. SPACs, for some reason, is displayed. Um, this is just my cash in my account. Uh, 160.49 isn't shares. It's $160.49. Uh, just just the display is a little bit weird um, with Fidelity, not sure why, but these two grade one here, Upwork and Xping, are actually just positions I added to today. They're tiny, tiny positions, just like 0.2% of my portfolio together, um, but I really just invested in this, these because I'm interested in following them and learning more about them and adding to them over time. The first one is Upwork, a slightly smaller company than Fiverr, but a very similar business model, and um, their financials are just a little bit better, although I haven't really done a deep dive into them but just at a glance and then xping um, you may not have heard of them it's a company with a very very similar to neo um, and i don't think the stock is really appreciated like neo has because it hasn't really hit the mainstream news but i think in china xping neo and tesla are all going to do really well long term as evs really um, are adopted by the mainstream uh, people let me know down in the comments below if you want to chat about any of the different companies I invest in, especially Tesla. I love talking about Tesla. Even if you have some bearish um, thoughts, please be sure to let me know down below and we can chat about it. Uh, subscribe for more content and like the video. Thank you so much for watching to the very end.